Oh, it's a... It's a fun, fun day. Welcome back to the big broadcast. We were just chatting about the fact that my board, once again, needs to be in a museum and not here. Uh, <laughs> it is a world famous Cheeky Jaguar experience, coast to coast and border to border, all over the world wide web, and on 50 plus stations across the U.S. and Canada. Thanks for joining us today. We are live today on K Rocks Radio out there in Casper, Wyoming. And also our good friends at KFRK in Denver, Colorado, and uh, Radio Xenu out of Wichita, Kansas, along with uh, live video, audio, all that other shenanigans over there at Ustream, and uh, you can get that through our website at JiggyJakeWire.net. And uh, two great studio guests with us today, and uh, we, we heard the uh, the Mountain Dulcimer earlier, which uh, according to Bob Colliday, and Bob gets brought up a lot on the show just because he has odd things. Right now he's making a short <laughs> film that I have a small, tiny, minute part in. Um, we've got Aaron Rodgers with us today, today and of course Jay Wheels, uh, my buddy Josh, uh, Kim Kelly from uh, Wichita was on his way, but... They decided uh, to, to, to pull an audible and just not show. Matt Neal is on his way here to the studio. He texted me 20 minutes ago and said, I'm on my way. Um, I don't exactly know where he's coming from. He's flying in from the West Coast. He's flying in from the West Coast. I did joke earlier he was getting drafted by the Florida Marlins. So that might be part of the issue. So maybe he's flying in from the east. So maybe he's flying in from the east, yes. Uh, we do have on the telephone uh, a couple guests. I'm going to let them do their own introduction because I will probably screw it up because I think I screwed it up during the, before we went to the break. Uh, so jump in there and uh, give us a brief introduction on yourselves. I'm Sean Salgan from WeTV's Marriage Boot Camp. And I'm Sophia Salgan, also from WeTV's Marriage Boot Camp. Now, uh, tell us about uh, Marriage Boot Camp. It's in its uh, second season, or, se or the new season's coming up. Yes, the second season, um, the third season starts in a few months. Look at that. But, yeah. No, my mother has shown up. Hold on a sec. My, I thought it was Matt Neal, our co-host. No, it's my lovely mother. What are you doing here? This is a live radio show across the country and around the world. This, what are you doing? If you're going to talk, you need to get on a microphone. There's a microphone. Get on a microphone and talk. If you're going to be talking to me, you need to get on a microphone because everybody else is wearing headphones. Talk. Go. I brought the hitch and the ball for Rob's truck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've got, I've got, hold on, wait a second here. Let's refresh this. I wish I still had that camera for our open our open door camera. You never know who's going to walk through that door. Of course you never know who's going to walk through that damn door. My own mother shows up out of nowhere. We've got we've got in studio, we have Aaron Rodgers from Scenic Roots, who plays the Mountain Dulcimer, who Bob Colliday says the only people that are allowed to play the Mountain Dulcimer without it being a gateway to hell, that's her sitting on the couch. Then we've got uh, my buddy Jay Wheels, Josh, he's in the building, and uh, then we have on the telephone, we have uh, two of the hosts from Marriage Boot Camp, which is in its second season. Uh, they're calling us from, uh, from Hollywood. Matt Neal is on his way here here i think he got drafted by the florida marlins so who knows if he'll actually show up um and then out of nowhere my own mother shows up with some shenanigans uh and nonsense about a trailer hitch because she's in the process of moving to hutchinson kansas so maybe she's going to become a co-host every sunday i don't know what the hell's going to happen but what is okay so that's it you've got a trailer hitch and that's it can we get back to our to our marriage boot camp guests? Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Jesus Christ on a stick, literally. Uh, I apologize, uh, marriage boot camp. Uh, go ahead and give us a uh, continue to give us the introduction on marriage boot camp. I apologize. So marriage boot camp is basically a spin off of Rob Villa. Yes. And Bridezilla's, we were just, you know, it's the week of our wedding, they're filming it, and for Marriage Boot Camp, it's five couples that were on Bridezilla's, and we're all together in a house working on our marriages. Hmm. Dealing with our marital issues. 
Now, uh, this this show, uh, how did this come about? Whose idea was this? Did, did you guys uh, get together and go, hey, we need to do this? Or, or how did this idea come about? Uh, well, I guess from all the seasons of Bride Zillas, um, the Wee TV, the network, decided to make a new spin-off show. And mm-hmm. now they, they wrapped up the 10th season. We were in the 10th season of Bride Zillas. They wrapped it up. That was the last season of that that show, now they're doing this one where they just pick uh, individuals that were in the show, a couple, and they just put them in a house, yeah. uh, in, you know, in L.A. together, and they just basically work uh, work with two counselors through all the, uh, through all the counseling, basically, but we decided to do it to better our marriage, you know, to get the help, and uh, yeah, that's basically what we did. Well, it, uh, it it seems like if it's if it's in its second season, apparently uh, you guys are doing something right. That's pretty cool. What 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 is the uh, uh, now has has the second season been shot? Or are you guys doing that right now? No, we shot. We already shot the second season, and now it's on every Friday night on Week TV at nine o'clock. Now, uh, We're already about halfway in now, and then we still have half the season left. Yeah. Well, uh, what, what, what are, some, uh, what, what are some, some previews you can give our audience uh, for, for the second season or, or, the, or the, the second half of the season? Um, the second half of the season, I mean, for the first part, we worked on communication and trust and all that. Um, we're going to keep working on trust and uh, loss of a spouse and to see if the grass is greener on the other side or is there something better for you. I mean, we do, at least some of the exercises we do are like pink ball, shooting each other like as target, dealing with our issues. If you don't like somebody in the house, you shoot them. <laughs> that's a that's that, 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 that's a good way to cope with the marriage. If you don't like someone in the house, just shoot them. Screw us. <laughs> This is awesome. Every person they put up there, yeah. Uh, you know, whether it was myself or whatever, you, you know, you're you're padded up, not 100 percent padded up, and you're just standing there as a target. And they say, shoot this person if you would like, for as many uh, as many times as you want for as many issues that they have. Okay. <laughs> so somebody's getting shot the most because they obviously have a lot of issues. Yeah. We've got uh, Sophie and Sean Sullivan with us today. They are the stars of Wee TV's hit series, Marriage Boot Camp. Uh, they've recently launched a new fitness business, Double S Fitness. Tell us about Double S Fitness. Double S Fitness, basically, you know, we're, we, at, at the moment, do personal training, and we're trying to eventually, you know, uh, we're doing some side projects now, just trying to open up, you know, start off with a gym and then, open up more in the process uh, along with fitness clothing line um, but it's basically just starting from just the personal training aspect that we are very we're very involved with the personal training and nutrition uh, we live this every day obviously I mean I do bodybuilding and yeah and she's you know really in the fitness and obviously she works with you know we train all the time together so it's it's basically just you know we live it every day so now it's just teaching everybody else what we know and and to you know change people's lives and, and let them you know get the knowledge that we know so they can continue to make their life healthier now uh sean give, give us some secrets here my friend of, of how we can safely build muscle mass <laughs> well because i need it i don't know about josh jo- jo- josh josh looks like he's getting ready to step on the stage at mr olympia this year but uh <laughs> oh, <really>? the uh <laughs> but uh uh, how 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 can how can we safely build muscle mass? I mean, obviously, there's a lot of supplements out there. I mean, obviously, supplements yeah. help as extra uh, for extra supplemental uh, purposes. Oh yeah. But first and foremost, it's not just about going to the gym. I mean, everybody thinks, oh, I can go in there. Yeah, you'll build something or you'll lose something. You know, whether it's trying to lose weight or it's the diet. The diet is 100 yeah. percent, and not everybody realizes that, or they don't want to hear that. And they're like, oh, my God, because nobody wants to have to eat a certain way. You don't have to do it as extreme as I, myself, or, Sophia, <laughs> or yeah. the top athletes. But you can do something to change it, and then that's where it really starts. If, if you can go in the gym and lift weights, but you have, to, you have to eat right, and you'll get your results much faster than if you're just going to the gym. So 
that's the best way to do it is getting it from whole foods, not just supplemental products out there like protein shakes and stuff. Well, uh, Sophia, uh, before before we let you guys go, uh, g- give me some diet and exercise tips out there for the ladies that are uh, going to burn fat and boost the metabolism. Um, well, I always, I always say that, um, you know, I wasn't very good with nutrition when I was younger, but I've learned throughout the years a lot of women think that it's better to not eat and you will lose weight, but you actually lose your muscle first yeah. rather than your fat. Um so you can't skip meals. Breakfast is extremely important. So, um, yeah, when you eat your breakfast, your metabolism starts working for the day. So that's so much better to do. Um, and then also when it comes to exercise, don't be scared to lift weights. I do cardio, but I also do I use the weights in the machines. Um, and even though you might go higher in weight, you just go lower in reps and you'll tone your body because a lot of yeah. women don't want to have huge muscles because honestly I'm going to say that's gross on girls so you want to just be toned so that's all you have to do don't be afraid to use weight well that's pretty cool it's great advice now uh, but before we let you guys go uh uh, marriage boot camp are you guys available on uh, the social media or any of the sites so people can uh, can hook you up with you guys yeah definitely so Sean and I are both on Twitter and our fans are the most important to us so my handle is Bridezilla Sophia and Sean's is Grimzilla Sully and we're constantly on there during the show which is um, at, on Wee TV at 9 o'clock on Friday nights we do live tweets and then we also um, have a Facebook fan page, which are which is Brazilla, Sophia, and Sean. And then if people have any nutrition questions, they can also email us at uh, Sophia and Sean at gmail.com. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, thanks, uh, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you very much.